Hi everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. If you are new, thanks for checking out my channel. Um, some of you who have watched my videos before, uh, you might notice that I am in a different location uh, than usual. So today's video, I am going to talk a bit about where I am um, and tell you what books I've brought and that I've been reading and what I have with me. Um, so I am staying at an undisclosed location uh, several hours from my home and I'm in a little cabin isolated in the woods and a friend of mine is very generous to allow me to come out here uh, once or twice a year to just really enjoy nature and some peace and quiet and it's, it's quite beautiful. Um, I am near a lake but to get to the lake you have to hike down a very steep hill uh, but on the hottest days it is worth it. Uh, to take a swim or go canoeing or kayaking and during my stay this time we've had about three days of nice weather today being one of them um, so because I am here I say we because I'm here with the pups and the dogs love it here we go exploring in the woods and they love playing outside and they have um, a lot of freedom here so the cabin is really cute and it has everything I need. Um, I do have electricity, so that is how I have been able to uh, bring all of you with me. Plus, I have to do uh, some work as well. So we are working from home until the end of the school year. Um, so there is no running water. Um, so that will explain the various stages of my hair <laughs> and clothing that uh, you might see in these videos, um, including this one. So, in fact, I had the opportunity to um, interview the author of one of the books that I read for the Quibuka Read series, and you will see that he looks so sharp in his suit and tie, and I am in my cabin clothes. So, <laughs> as I said, I have electricity, and that is what allows me to um, communicate with you, uh, to still create content, and, you know, to check in with you, but I don't have Wi-Fi. And plus we've had a number of thunderstorms and things like that. So um, I love thunderstorms. I love the sound of the rain and the coziness of the cabin, but it does make things a little trickier for uploading and downloading, um, which means that some of my videos have taken way longer to edit and also to get out to you. So they have not been on time. I ask for your patience, they will come. Um, one of the things about being so isolated out here is that I get to do a lot of reading. So I always bring a whack load of books with me. So I will go over the main books that I've been reading and, um, and then I will let you know um, what else I have here. I have quite a few here as potentials. So first up, I have Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell. Um, I've been reading this book as a buddy read with Karen and Christine, and this is the the same group that I read the Satanic Verses with. And um, I will say that I think we are all finding this novel much easier to read. Um, as you can see, it is another chunky. Uh, this one comes in. My edition is 960 pages. So we are currently in the longest section of the book in part four. And we discuss it each, um, discuss each part every week. And then I also have the next Atwood book with me. And this week is also another chunky. Uh, last week we read um, Alias Grace. And this one is even bigger. It's The Blind Assassin. And it comes in at 635 pages. So these are the two that I'll be focusing on the most. But I do also have uh, my book club read. And this is One Brother Shy by Terry Fallis. And I've talked about Terry Fallis and his novels a few times on this channel. Um, this is um, the fourth, I think it's the fourth book by him that my book club is reading. And um, this one is an older book, but I haven't read it yet. So I'm looking forward to, to that one because he always has like a lot of humor and really great characters in his novels. Um, I also have a book from Pei Vio. He sent me his book a month, maybe even two months ago. Sorry, Pei. Um, and I am hoping to get to it while I'm here. Hopefully you can see that in the light. Sorry about that. Um, so some of you may already know Pei's channel. It's called Attention. And I will leave a link to his channel in the description box below. 
Um, his book is called Searching for Marilyn Monroe, and it is a collection of short stories. And then next I have The Lost Apothecary, and hoping to get to that by the end of the month. Um, and then another book on my pile here is Nupaming, The Cure for White Ladies. Um, I've been meaning to get to this for quite some time, um, so hopefully I will have the chance to at least start it while I'm here. It has an interesting cover as well, I don't know if you can see it. Um, and then last but not least, I have The Tiger Flu by Larissa Lay, and I, this has been on my shelf for a couple of years now, so hoping to get to that soon as well. So that is some of the reads I have coming up, and you will see by the end of the month how many of those I actually finish. Um, as I said, I have been working on videos um, while I'm here, and this video obviously, and the video that I was hoping to get out, um, but because of its length and the thunderstorms, it hasn't worked out. Uh, so I have the next part of Quibuka Reads, and in that video, I talk with author and genocide survivor Omar Ndizeye, and he wrote a memoir that I read in May. And I will probably also video the next Mondays with Margaret while I'm out here too. So you will be seeing some cabin videos uh, for at least the next few videos. Um, let me know if you have read any of the books that I have coming up on my cabin reading pile. Um, maybe you can sway me to uh, put a, one or two of these closer to the top of the list. Um, I am going to leave you with some pictures and videos of the cabin and the area around the cabin. Um, it is quite literally trees, so hopefully you will like looking at trees. Um, I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.